Winter is the season that makes you feel like hibernating and stocking up on food to avoid the outside world. But this year, it will be tougher than usual to find everything you want. It's not as easy as it used to be to walk into a store and find all your favorite products. Spotty shelves are becoming all too familiar, and higher receipt totals are the new normal. You've probably heard advice about buying holiday gifts early due to supply chain lags. The same is true for grocery shopping. In recent months, as demand for food outpaces the ability to stock it on shelves, we've seen shortages in food chains and experts anticipate they won't be letting up in time for the holidays. Meat The meat industry is up against more than its fair share of supply chain issues. In addition to facing labor shortages and a lack of truck drivers, there are shortfalls of essential packaging materials such as plastic, paper, and aluminum. Farmers are being compelled to cull parts of their herds due to scarcity of antibiotics and feed materials. The price hikes are affecting the industry on everything from the fertilizers used to grow cattle feed to the carbon dioxide used to keep the meat cold in stores. This is causing reduction in its availability and a significant surge in prices. Meat is a significant contributor to inflation, with certain cuts of beef, like boneless chuck roast, experiencing a 25% increase in cost. Maple Syrup Although Vermont is one of the most iconic producers of maple syrup worldwide, the Green Mountain State is experiencing this syrup shortage. There are a myriad of factors at play to cause its shortfall, with weather being one of them. An invasive worm species from Asia called the jumping worm, or a crazy worm, has been wreaking havoc across North America over the last several years. Through their chaotic thrashing movements, they kill a variety of vegetation, sugar maples in particular. Snowless winters stunt maple tree growth sometimes, it can be up to 40%. And since there is 0.19% less snow each year, snow coverage will likely continue to decline in coming years. Additionally, maple trees have trouble adjusting to inconsistent snowpack. Chicken The shelves of the poultry section are empty more often than usual these days, and what you can find on those shelves costs a pretty penny. Chicken tenders must be the most difficult poultry item to get your hands on, as they require the most processing and packaging. Suppliers experiencing worker shortages are having trouble keeping up with the demand for these items. There are other reasons for the tight United States chicken market. One is that the demand for sandwiches is growing. As Americans reveal their appetite for chicken by buying more sandwiches, more chain restaurants are adding the item to their menus or expanding their offerings. Frozen Berries Adverse weather conditions in the United States, such as flooding, extreme temperatures or droughts are damaging berry crops and reduce yields. This impacts the supply of fresh berries available for freezing. Foodborne illness outbreaks linked to frozen berries are resulting in recalls and reduced customer confidence. These recent food safety concerns have further exacerbated the situation. Shoppers will soon encounter limited options and higher prices in the frozen berry section of their local grocery stores. The upcoming shortage reminds us that the food supply chain is delicate and that the agricultural industry needs to adjust to cope with changing challenges. Almond Milk Almond milk has many benefits, including boosting energy and muscle strength. Additionally, it contains vitamin D, nutrients, and other ingredients that aid in a person's diet. The supply chain issue affects all industries, not just almonds. However, there are two factors contributing to the shortage of it. The first is the insufficient rising of almond bees resulting from farmers and labor issues in the United States. The second is the increasing cost of water, which is used in its production. The packaging and transportation of this milk is challenging due to its delicate nature. This is resulting in product spoilage and a decrease in overall supply. Turkey it's no surprise that food costs across the board have been going up due to rising inflation. But this reality can become troublesome during the holiday season as families try to prepare a budget-friendly Thanksgiving menu. 
A long outbreak of avian flu has infected millions of turkeys in the holiday season. Inflation has also made buying it a challenge as farmers are paying more for feed, fertilizer, and labor. Raising turkeys has become extra expensive as inflation struck the costs of corn, soybean meal, and diesel, causing as much as an 18% increase in product costs. Recent data shows that their prices are 25% higher than the same time last year and 50% higher than the five-year average. Imported Cheese Cheese, one of the beloved staples in American grocery store dairy sections, is now disappearing from the shelves, leaving food platters incomplete. Weather-related challenges, including droughts and unusually heavy rainfall, have disrupted pastures and forage for cows, making it difficult for dairy farmers to maintain healthy herds. These disruptions have a direct impact on the availability of the high-quality milk necessary for its production. With a shortage of skilled workers to care for cows and oversee the cheese-making process, production has suffered, sometimes failing to meet demand. It has gained popularity over the years, with more consumers seeking unique and high-quality options. Garlic While many American farms are making every effort to ensure an ample domestic garlic harvest to meet fall season demands, external factors such as harsh weather are still disrupting the garlic supply chain, particularly for West Coast producers. A significant portion of it consumed in the United States is imported from China, often referred to as white garlic, known for its lower production costs. However, this heavy reliance on imports can create vulnerabilities in the supply chain, especially when external factors impact the availability of Chinese garlic. Tofu As more and more people are adopting plant-based diets, the demand for tofu has skyrocketed. Unfortunately, this has led to shortage of it in many parts of the world. Tofu is a versatile food made from soybeans. It is high in protein and low in calories, making it a popular choice for those looking to improve their health. It has gained popularity not only among vegetarians, but also among those looking for a protein alternative. Its scarcity has been blamed on a number of factors, including bad weather conditions that have impacted soybean production and the trade war between the United States and China. Avocado In an age of numerous food shortages, avocados is next on the list of items that are in short supply. The looming crisis has to do with tensions between the United States and Mexico, which exports more than 100,000 tons of avocados to America per month. Mexican growers and pickers have been on strike to raise the price of it in the United States, unhappy with the low payment they have been receiving for their work with the fatty fruit. These strikes have been described as the biggest disruption to its imports in history. Furthermore, the recent drought in California, where 80% of American avocados are grown, have contributed to the fruit's decline. Mushrooms The mushroom industry has experienced a significant boom in recent years, driven by growing interest in meat alternatives and the unique health benefits mushrooms offer. However, despite this increased enthusiasm, the industry faces supply chain challenges that hinder profitability for farmers. Mushrooms require a growth period of approximately 6 to 12 weeks, which includes the production of compost and the preparation of planting beds to support up to three harvests. Producers are grappling with difficulties in sourcing the necessary compost materials and peat moss, a critical component mixed with limestone and water for mushroom cultivation has become scarce and expensive, with prices surging over 80%. Apple Cider Vinegar To keep up with the increase in demand for vinegar, the food industry has been turning to the product more and more. This rise in demand has, unfortunately, led to a shortfall of its supplies. Due to various factors such as transport cost, outdated production methods, and limited availability of raw materials, the circulation of vinegar has been challenged. The scarcity of this item has led to a significant hike in prices affecting consumers' purchasing power. The shortage will persist for some time, but consumers should try different types of it or experiment with homemade vinegars to maintain their health benefits 
and culinary creativity. Cashews Global demand for cashews has spiked 53% since 2010 and exceeded production rates for four of the past seven years, making its sales the fastest growing in the tree nut category. They are expected to be in short supply in the United States due to a combination of factors, including the impact of climate change on cashew farming, decreased yields in major cashew-producing regions, reduced planting areas for new trees, global supply challenges related to soybean-based products, and labor shortages in the agricultural sector. So, finding these nuts on store shelves is expected to become a rare occurrence, impacting consumers' access to this popular nut. Lemon The United States' lemon market is facing a significant shortage due to low domestic production, lighter-than-anticipated imports from Latin America, and strong demand for the fresh product. The citrus industry, particularly in Florida, has been severely affected by citrus greening disease, leading to a drastic decline in lemon production. This shortage is exacerbated by the declining number of citrus growers and processing facilities in the country. Lemons are increasingly scarce in grocery stores, impacting both consumers and the food industry. Coconut The world is currently facing a severe coconut shortage. From rising demand to changing weather patterns, there are a number of factors contributing to this crisis. With the rise of the health and wellness industry, more and more people are turning to its products as a healthy alternative to traditional foods. This has led to a surge in demand for coconut oil, coconut milk, and other coconut-based products. Their palms planted over 70 years ago have become senile and need replanting. However, disease and limited propagation options mean that soon there will be a massive deficit that will seriously impact global trading. This shortage is also affecting the livelihoods of millions of small farmers who depend on the sale of it for their income. Comment down below on what you think and leave a comment if you find value in the content we do on this channel. Hit the subscribe button for all the latest updates and we'll see you in the next video.